Today, let's make a cute toilet paper holder perfect for your bathroom. Welcome, I do sewing and DIY related content, and today we are going to be making a cute toilet paper holder perfect to add a little decoration to your bathroom. As you can see here, I have a fat quarter of fabric and a roll of toilet paper, and this is all we're gonna need to get started. So you can get this type of fabric really anywhere, Joe & Fabric, Walmart, fabric stores. All you really need though is first to take your toilet paper and roll it up in that fabric to see how long you need to cut a piece of fabric that would go all the way around your toilet paper. Now you could measure this out as well, but I found this to be easier since the, the roll of toilet paper wasn't really that large. And as you can see, I'm just gonna take a pen and mark down how large I want it to be. So I added about a two inches or so onto that amount. Then I'm also going to mark where the top of the toilet paper is so I can see the whole height. And then this, when I unroll this, is going to give me the width for the toilet paper. So I'm just going to cut this out. So I'm going to cut out where I had both my bottom marking as well as my top marking. And then I'm going to unroll this and then I'm going to be able to cut out that long rectangle. Once I had it all cut out, I did then try to put my toilet paper back on it just to make sure that this was wrapping all the way around. And you can see that I do have a little bit left over at the edge and that will be perfect for our seam allowance and just in case the toilet paper roll ever changes sizes. Then we're going to cut out a second one of those as this toilet paper holder is going to have both an exterior as well as a lining. You could have done this in a different fabric if you wanted to. Now an optional step is to also add some interfacing so you would just cut out that exact same rectangle size of the interfacing if you're interested in making your toilet paper holder be a little sturdier in case the fabric you're using is a little thinner. This is totally optional and definitely up to you. I decided to go ahead and do some, the cat decided to help as well. Now, after you cut that out, if you decide to, the last step we're going to need is we need a circle for the top of our decoration. So I just cut out a circle around the toilet paper holder. You definitely could have traced this as well, but you're just going to want one for the top and then you also need a lining. Now for the lining, I did have to do take some of my fabric and piece it together so I could get that second piece, but this really wasn't too hard. You can see there that it came out really well. And then I just cut out a second version of that circle. Now it's time to actually start sewing our toilet paper holder cover. So to do this, I'm just going to bring my rectangle piece together and then sew that short edge. So very similarly, do this for both the exterior as well as the lining. I then pin this up and I'm just going to take a straight seam all the way down. Now, be sure when you're doing this that we are back stitching the whole time, so at the beginning as well as the end, so that your stitches are secure. And then just take that straight seam all the way down that one edge of the holder so that you have now a tube. So this is what it looks like once it is done. You can see that this is the piece that I did do the interfacing on. And once you have both those seams done for both the lining as well as the exterior fabric, be sure to press it out so it's nice and smooth. You can also press out the tube in general in case there are any wrinkles in your fabric. So now it is time to attach that circle that we did for the top of it onto our fabric itself, that tube we just created. So I'm going to take the circle piece that I have and I'm just going to pin it with right sides together to that tube that we just created as well and I am just going to pin this all the way around so that I have a nice circle. Now this is a very similar process to when I created the cover for like a pot for your plants. So if you're interested in that video, I'll be sure to link it, but basically I'm just going around and pinning both the circle to the tube before both the exterior of the fabric as well as the lining so that I will have this nice structure. So this is what it looks like and I'm just going to take a seam all the way around. Now when you're sewing on a curve, it can be a little bit tricky as the fabric doesn't necessarily want to go in a nice straight line. So what I'm doing is the whole time I'm going through, I did backstitch at the beginning and then I'm just very carefully working my way around, pausing if I need to, to take out any pins, making sure I'm adjusting the fabric so it's laying nice and smooth and that there's no wrinkles or creases in the fabric as I go through. So this is what it ended up looking like. I did push this right side out just to make sure that all the seams look nice and neat. Everything looks really, really good though. You can see the edges around the top are all nice and smooth. And now it is just time to repeat this entire process for the lining as well. So this is my lining and now I'm going to take my lining with that exterior of my fabric with right sides together and place them inside each other. So as you can see, the fabric has the right side together and I am putting both of those tubes into each other so that they are both connecting. So the right sides of both the exterior of my fabric with the right side of the lining. And I am just going to pin this all the way around. So it's gonna be all the way around at the circle. I'm pinning it so that I'll be able to take a seam. Now I am going to leave about a one and a half, two inch gap. So I normally denote this with like a two pin so I know where to start and stop. 
and this is going to be where I'm going to be turning everything right side out to have my decorative cover. So again, we are sewing on a curve here. You want to be very careful as you're going through. You need to take your time to make sure that none of the fabric is bunching up. You're able to have it be nice and smooth. I did speed this up just so that you weren't watching me sew on the curve the entire time, which would probably be very boring. But as you can see, I then backstitched it both the front and the back, and then I trimmed off any extra fabrics so that it would lay nice and smooth for us when we did turn this right side out. Once I had it all cut and was ready to go, it was then time to turn. So to turn this, I just took where that little hole was and pushed the fabric through so that I could see the right sides. And I did this until I had the entire cover turned right side out. And then once this was done, I did put that lining into the exterior of the fabric. And then along the edge, you can see that there is the seam. And so what I'm doing is I am now pinning up where that seam is. So I'm gonna slow this down so that you can see it, but I'm just going to pin, and this is where I'm gonna be top stitching all the way around the bottom. And this kind of serves two purposes. The first is a nice decorative touch to add to our toilet paper holder, but also this is going to allow us to close up that hole where we turned all of this right side out. So in doing this pinning, we will be able to then take a seam all the way around. It's probably gonna be around an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And this is going to allow us to have that nice decorative touch as well as close up the hole. Top stitching can also give it a little bit more structure and stability at the bottom. So it just overall is a really good idea to do. So once that is done, you can see that this is what my toilet paper holder cover now looks like. It looks really cute. I like the pineapple design. So now it is time to go test this on our toilet paper roll to see if it works. I think I am going to add a little ribbon at the top. This is again, totally optional, but to make it look more of like a pineapple theme. So I'm going to put this on my toilet paper. For mine, the toilet paper, it was a little bit long, but I sort of did that on purpose as I wanted it to be able to have like a nice little cuff at the bottom. This is definitely an optional step. You could have made that much shorter if you wanted to when you did the height and you were measuring it beforehand. But I think it gives it a clean and neat finish. And now what I'm going to do is just add this little green bow on top. I'm gonna to go ahead and hand stitch this. Again, totally optional, you do not need to add this. You could also, if you wanted to look at different like little buttons or designs, you could put a lot of different things on top of this. You also could have added ribbon along the bottom. It would really be up to you and what you imagine this like toilet paper holder to look like, but this is gonna work perfectly for a tropical themed bathroom. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you wanna see next. Thanks for watching.